As Event Horizon comes to a close here, it's been three uh, excellent days. I came here knowing a little bit about blockchain. I certainly learned a hell of a lot in the past three days, but now I know that there's a hell of a lot more to learn and a lot of new things. But three quick takeaways. The first one is Europe is way ahead. Uh, we saw some uh, analyst research on the investment dollars in the EU in energy and blockchain um, compared to, say, the rest of the world in North America. So the EU is about 3x the ton of investment, about $700 million last year. And you also see the amount of startups and the amount of European utilities and oil and gas companies that are engaged in all of the, the working groups and the various um, blockchain uh, consortiums. So Europe is, is well ahead. And you see that as well in the level of interest in blockchain. For example, at European Utility Week um, last, last November, compared to what we saw at Distributech, where in the US, blockchain is already mentioned. The second one is around the use cases. It's fascinating to see that most of the investment dollars are going into blockchain startups around peer-to-peer, -peer, you know, community trading of energy. And yet, most of the real applications for blockchain today are more in the operations. You know, um, Sun and D and Tenet just got the award for using blockchain in energy trading on the transmission networks and virtual power plants here at the event. So that's interesting to see. People are planning ahead for peer-to-peer -peer for the future, but blockchain is getting traction right now in the operations side of the business, taking cost off. The third one is around technology. Blockchain is evolving, and it's evolving at a rapid pace. There was a session this morning uh, for two hours on future blockchain technologies, if you like. Um, the pace of innovation, the way things are being addressed. You know, we all know in the common press today, there are issues around blockchain, particularly when people start talking about Bitcoin. And that's just, an impl just one implementation. So it takes a lot of energy. There's the consensus protocol that's proof of work, yada, yada, yada. These guys are working on lots of solutions and you know today you could say we're at blockchain 1.0, 2.0 but these guys are planning ahead for 3.0 and 4.0 so when you start hearing what they're doing around polka dot, sharding, off-chain, snarks and so many other technologies um, to address problems I didn't even know existed uh, it's fascinating, this industry has just taken off and it's going to be around for a while one last thing, the EU Commissioner, the Vice President of the Energy Union, Maroc Sacevic, was here. And he left the industry with four great problems that I think are pretty relevant for this industry as it evolves. He asked, whatever blockchain technology you come up with, will it be able to deal with the multitude of microtransactions out of the grid edge? The second one was, how much energy will it consume to get that done? The third one was around, you know, the system we have today for all its faults, it works. So we gotta keep the lights on. So how do we integrate all of this new technology and the benefits it brings, but keep all the goodness we have? And the fourth one was, what kind of regulation would you like? Should we regulate a lot or very little? So those four things I think are gonna be very pertinent as the blockchain technologies get adopted in the industry, industry going forward. Fascinating times. Right, I'm off to find out more about snaps.